Plastic parts are divided into two groups, base parts printed in onyx and accent parts printed in red. The more fragile parts have heavy supports included into the STL files so that everything prints properly. For both part sets I've used regular chip PLA. I've tried to use ABS but it works way better with PLA. I'll start the assembly process by removing the front frame away from the raft. Be careful not to throw away the smaller pieces, those will be required later on. There is a small rectangle piece of plastic that needs to be removed. It works as a support for the combiner holder. I will use a flathead screwdriver to remove the support. Be extra careful so that you won't damage the frame. It seems that I need to use smaller screwdriver for this job. Take your time with it, it's really important not to destroy the plastic underneath it. This is how it should look like after the support removal. You can easily fix the white spots on your prints by using a small kitchen torch. Short bursts won't damage your parts but will fix the white discoloring. It looks way better after using some heat. You could sand the edges as well, but it's not really required. For the optics installation I highly suggest that you use a latex gloves. That way you won't make any scratches. The lenses are made by laser cutting the clear acrylic sheet. You can get them ready made on my Etsy page. Left lens is pretty easy to install. You just simply push it inside the plastic frame. Right lens is a bit harder to mount since there's a display gasket in front of the right eye. You have to push it diagonally at first and once it's inside you have to align it with the frame. For this build I will use composite micro display, there's a link to buy one in the description. Display comes inside the display assembly which includes the magnifying lenses. You can find a tutorial on how to get the display out of assembly on my channel. I've also used longer ribbon cable, it should be available in most electronics stores. You should slowly put the display with ribbon cable inside the front frame. Assembly requires some cable folding in order to get it working. You need to figure out the proper lens by yourself. It's pretty easy to fold it properly, you don't really need a tutorial for this. After display mounting you can now put the lenses inside the frame. Lenses come along with the display when you buy it. This is the combiner. It's a square piece of semi-transparent piece of plastic. You can use a car HUD to make it or you can buy it on my Etsy page if you are not able to make it yourself. The combiner goes directly underneath the magnifying lenses. Now it's time to install the display cover. Carefully separate it from the raft using knife. The cover should be installed like this. You can use soldering iron to combine both pieces of plastic or you can simply glue it in. I don't recommend using glue as you can get it inside the display.
Red display cover gives a nice contrast with the onyx frame. At this point you can already see some reflections on the combiner piece. It may seem a bit dark but it's because display is off. Now we can install the left arm. First we need to separate it from the raft. Now that it's separated we need to carefully remove all of the support material. After removing supports, you can fix the white spots using torch. Now I will make the holes bit bigger using my scalpel. This will make it way easier to install the hinges. I will use a simple piece of filament as a hinge. It's pretty easy to do and it holds pretty well. First I will use my knife to make one end sharper. This way it will go inside the frame easier. And now I just need to push the filament piece through both pieces. Make it so that the filament sticks out just a little bit. And now I will melt both ends of the filament with my soldering iron. This will ensure that the hinge won't come apart while in use. You can now check if it moves freely. This piece right here is an end cap for the left arm. It's supposed to go directly on top of the left arm end to give it more nicer look. You can glue it to the arm or use soldering iron to melt together both pieces. I think the left arm looks better with some accent pieces. It doesn't provide any additional features, it just makes it look better. Now it's time to prepare the right arm. It's the exact same process as with the left one. For this project I will use HDMI converter and display driver board. Display driver board is included with the display when you buy one. HDMI converter needs to be bought separately. I'll put the detailed connection diagram on my Patreon page. When you have both boards connected to each other, then you can put them inside the right arm. I'm carefully pushing the electronics inside the plastic parts. The HDMI port should align with the plastic. Make sure to get it all the way inside. After that, just push the cables inside with your nail. Make sure to put the display driver board so that you can access the ribbon cable through the hole. And now just push the remaining cables inside.
Carefully open the ribbon cable latch with flat screwdriver. And now gently push the ribbon cable inside the connector. Now you can connect both parts of the hinge with piece of filament just like with the left arm. I've also melted the filament piece with soldering iron, the same way as before. And now you can finally install the plastic covers. If you feel that the covers are a bit loose, then you can use glue to secure them in place. I'm using female HDMI adapter to connect my glasses to my PC. It's difficult to capture with camera, but you can already see my desktop being reflected onto the combiner. And that's how you can make Onyx glasses by yourself. If you can't for some reason print your own parts or if you need optical parts then I'm selling those on Etsy. In future I will sell more stuff like HDMI converters or ribbon cables. This way it should be easier for everyone to build their own pair. Huge thanks to all my Patreons. Thanks for watching and see you next time.